Okay, let's get started on our backs. So, Tikhtabhadha Konasana. So, come to your back, bring the soles of your feet together, knees open wide. And you can relax both arms by your sides or rest one hand on your heart, the other on your belly, whatever feels good for you. And then bring your awareness to your breath. Feel your belly rise with each inhale. And then feel your belly fall with each exhale. Take a big breath in through your nose. Side out. Take a couple more cleansing breaths just like that. Deep inhale. And side out. And then seal your lips, breathe in through your nose. Exhale through your nose. And then bring your hands to the outside of your thighs and bring the soles of your feet onto your mat and then tuck your knees into your chest. Rock side to side. And then extend your arms to a T and then let your knees just gently fall to the left side of your mat. And come through center. And let your knees fall to the right. And come back to center. And then grab behind your thighs, rock and roll a couple times along your back and come to a tabletop position. So wrists about shoulder width distance apart, shoulders stacked over wrists, hips stacked over knees. And then move through a couple cat and cow poses. So for each inhale, Come to a cow pose, dropping your belly low. Send your tailbone and gaze high. Really grip into your mat with your hands to pull your chest forward. And then exhale, cat pose. Round your spine, tuck your chin. Tuck your tailbone and press the space between your shoulder blades up towards the ceiling. So really pressing your mat away. And move through those poses with your own breath a couple times, inhaling for cow pose. And exhale for cat pose. And then bring in any other movement that feels good. You can stretch out your sides, maybe roll out your wrists. And then find a neutral spine. Inhale your left hand high. Roll out your left wrist. Exhale, thread the needle. Bring your left shoulder and left ear onto your mat. And then you can leave your right hand right here or walk your right hand forward. Or option for a half bind where you reach behind your back for your left hip crease. And then bring your right hand back to your mat. Inhale, left arm high. Exhale, tabletop. Other side, inhale, right hand high. Roll out your right wrist. And then exhale, thread the needle. Bring your right shoulder to your mat. Right ear comes to your mat. And then optional walk that left hand forward. 
or reach it behind your back. Bring your left palm back to your mat. Inhale, right hand high. Exhale, tabletop. Tuck your toes, exhale, down dog. Send your hips up and back. And then settle into your down dog. So take any movement you need. Pedal out your heels. And then when you're ready, come to a still downward facing dog. Make sure your fingers are spread nice and wide on your mat. You're really gripping into your mat with your index fingers and your thumbs. And then send your tailbone a little bit higher. So you want a straight line from your wrist through your tailbone. It's okay if your knees need to bend a little bit. And then you can work on straightening your legs and pressing your heels a little bit closer to your mat. Make sure your neck is relaxed, the gaze is between your toes. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, come to the top of your mat. Feet are hip width distance apart. Find ragdoll pose, nice easy forward fold. Bend your knees a lot and bring your torso onto your thighs. And then let your head hang heavy. You can leave your hands where they are or interlace your pinkies in the opposite elbow crease. This way, side to side. And then bring your left hand, or actually your right hand to your mat. Inhale, left hand high. And then as you do so, begin to straighten your left knee and really bend into your right knee. And switch sides, bring your left hand to your mat. Inhale, right hand high. As you do so, straighten your right leg a little bit and then bend deeper into your left knee. And come back to forward fold. Toe heel your feet together, big toes come to touch slight space between your heels. Bend your knees, slowly roll up to standing. And exhale, standing at attention. Bring your hands together at heart center. Close your eyes. Pull your shoulder blades together and down your back. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Blink your eyes open, mountain pose. Bring your hands above your head, palms facing inward. Pull your shoulders away from your ears. One more inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Hinge from your hips, bring your hands to your mat. And then pause here in this forward fold. This is a more active forward fold than the um, ragdoll pose we did before. So your legs are a little bit straighter. Shift your weight into your toes. So your hips stack a little bit more over your ankles. Your neck is still relaxed. And you can grip onto your ankles or the backs of your shins um, or your calves. And kind of gently pull your torso closer to your legs. But be gentle because it's early in class. We'll be in many more forward folds. And then inhale, come to halfway lift. Press your hands in the front of your legs. Lengthen your spine. Gaze towards the top of your mat. One more inhale. Exhale, high plank. Plant your palms, step your feet back. Find that nice, strong, high plank position. And then inhale, shift a couple inches forward. 
Exhale, chaturanga, low plank, lower no more than halfway down. Option to come to your knees. Keep your elbows in towards your rib cage. And then inhale, come to up dog. Flip to the tops of your feet. Just four points of contact, just your hands and the tops of your feet and shine your chest forward. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, move to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, chaturanga, high to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, come to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, come to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. And inhale, come to chair pose. Get your hips low, arms up by your ears or in line with your shoulders. Then squeeze your ankles together, squeeze your knees together. Sit a little bit lower, peek down, make sure you can see all 10 toes over your knees and then gaze forward. Inhale. Exhale, vertical twist, drop your left arm behind you. Gaze towards your left thumb, if it's okay on your neck. And keep your hips and knees square forward. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, vertical twist, other side. Drop your right hand behind you. Again, those knees and hips are square forward. Gaze at your right thumb if it's okay on your neck. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right heel high. And then exhale, bend your right knee. Find scorpion dog, just bending your knee and then opening your hips towards the right side of your mat. You can take some movement, take some circles with your right knee. Inhale, right heel high. Exhale, low lunge. And drop your back knee down. Inhale, low crescent lunge. Bring your arms up by your ears, really bend into your front knee and press your hips forward. And then bring your hands uh, to your knee and we're just gonna shift back and forth. So um, stack your hips over your left knee and tuck your tailbone so you feel a nice stretch through your left hip flexor. And then shift forward. And then just shift back and forth a couple times. And 
and then come back to low crescent, arms high. Exhale, half splits, straighten your front leg, stack your hips over your back knee, and then flex your right toes towards your face. And pull your right hip in line with your left hip. So our right hip will tend to pop forward in the stretch, but for a deeper stretch, have those hips aligned with one another. And then we'll take some movement here. So with each inhale, try to find some length through your spine and each exhale, fold a little bit deeper. So inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. And one more time, inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Then inhale, come up to high crescent lunge, tuck your back toes, lift your arms up by your ears, bend back into that front knee. And then engage your back leg so it's as straight as you can make it and the, um, your left heel is stacked over your left big toe. Inhale, exhale, warrior two, and open, flip your back heel down so your back foot is parallel to the back of your mat, really bend into your front knee, and inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your front leg, reach up and back with your right hand. One more inhale, exhale, chaturanga. For an extra challenge, keep your right foot lifted as you move through chaturanga. Then inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. All right, other side, inhale, left heel high. And exhale, scorpion dog, bend your left knee, stack your left hip on your right hip. And then gaze under your right armpit. Maybe you see your left toes. Option to take those circles with your left knee if you did so on the other side. And then inhale, left heel high. Exhale, low lunge. Drop your back knee down. Inhale, low crescent lunge. Press your hips forward, reach your arms up by your ears and gaze up. Inhale and exhale, bring your hands to your front knee and then just moving through that same movement that we did on the other side. So come back to stack your hips over your right knee. Tuck your tailbone so you feel a nice stretch through your right hip flexor. Pause for just a moment. And then find a nice movement if that feels good. Shifting your hips forward and back. Then inhale back to low crescent lunge. Exhale, half splits, shift your hips back, stack your hips over your right knee. And then flex your left toes towards your face, pull that left hip in line with your right hip if it's popped forward at all. And then find a little movement here. So inhale to lengthen your spine, find some length and then exhale, fold over your front leg. One more round of breath here. Inhale up to high crescent lunge. Bend back into your front knee. Come up onto the ball of your back foot. Bring your arms up by your ears. And then activate that back leg. So make it as straight as you can. Your back heel is stacked over the ball of your back foot. Inhale. 
Exhale, warrior two, spin your heel down, your back heel down. Open your hips and chest towards the right side of your mat and then extend your arms long. Really bend into your front knee. And then press the pinky toe edge of your right foot into your mat. <clears throat> Inhale, reverse triangle pose. Straighten through both legs. Reach up and back with left fingertips. One more inhale. Exhale, chaturanga, high to low plank. Again, option to keep that left foot lifted as you move through chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. All right, and we slow. Inhale, lift your right heel high. Exhale, scorpion dog. Inhale, right heel high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, low crescent lunge. Exhale, half splits. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, chaturanga. Always the option to skip chaturanga and go straight to down dog. If you're doing chaturanga, inhale for up dog and then exhale, down dog. Inhale, left heel high. Exhale, scorpion dog. Inhale, heel high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, low crescent. Exhale, half splits. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. All right, come down, have a seat on your mat. We'll do a little core. Um, come on to your back. And then send your feet high. So try to stack your heels over your hips. These can be slightly bent. And then rest your hands along your uh, hips. And then with each exhale, just a small press up. So try to just move your feet towards the ceiling without swinging them too much towards your face. With each exhale, lift your hips. Eight more. We got four, three, two, and one. Keep your right foot lifted. Hover your left foot above your mat. Bring your hands to prayer and bring them to the outside of your right thigh. And then we're going to pulse here. So lift your chest up. Eight more. Four, three, two, and one. Switch out sides. Hover your right foot above your mat, hands to the outside of your left thigh, and pulse. Eight more. Here for four. Three, two, and one. Take a full body stretch. Relax your feet on your mat. Extend your arms long.
And grab behind your thighs, roll up for boat pose. So boat pose, find your sits bones, lengthen your spine and then slowly shift your weight back. Lift your toes up off of your mat. And then option to bring your arms to your sides. Keep your chest lifted, back is nice and flat. Here for just 10 seconds. We're here for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Come to Sphinx Pose. So come onto your belly and bring your forearms to your mat. Um, forearms are parallel and then Grip your mat with your hands and then pull your chest forward. And your neck is nice and long, shoulders away from ears. And then when you're ready, press to down dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, come to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, set up for dancer's pose. So right side is first, so keep your left hand lifted. Actually, I'm going to keep facing forward. Um, and then bring your right elbow to your right hip, palm facing up. And then reach back and capture the inside of your right foot. And then option to kick your right foot into your right hand for dancer's pose. Let the kick be the driving force so your leg is nice and strong. And inhale back up to standing. Dancer's pose on the other side. Uh, lift your right hand up. Bring the bring your left elbow to your left hip. Bend your left knee. Capture the inside of your left foot. Inhale to repair. Exhale, kick. Keep your gaze forward. And gaze over right fingertip. And then inhale back up to standing. Now find um, one legged mountain pose. So bring your right, actually bring your left knee up. Left knee is in line with your left hip. And then extend your left leg forward, or your, yeah, your left leg forward. And then from here, we're going to move into airplane pose. So pendulum your left leg through and then extend your arms back, find airplane arms, really squeezing your pinkies towards one another. And then the goal is to parallel your torso and your left leg with your mat. And then the next pose will be standing splits. So bring your hands to your mat, just tent your fingers. Flex your left toes towards your mat. And then send your left heel a little bit higher. One more inhale. Exhale, land in low lunge. All right, coming into splits. So We've done half splits. We've stretched out our hip flexors and our hamstrings. So 
you, you just kind of have to find the way that works for you how to get into splits. You can walk, some people prefer just to walk their front foot forward. Some people prefer just to walk it back foot forward. If you have like yoga blocks are ideal, but if you have like pillow, like sturdy pillows or books that you want to stack along the sides of your mat, that's a good option. Um, I don't have anything handy. So uh, as you move and you can kind of play with moving your right foot forward and then shifting your back leg back a little bit. So whatever works for you. And then find the spot that feels okay. And then the goal is to sit up nice and tall with your shoulders stacked over your hips. Don't forget to breathe. And then when you're done, slowly make your way out of splits. You can just shift off onto one side. Um, but wherever you are, we're gonna meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, move to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. And then lift your left knee up this time. Nope, right knee up. <laughs> the right knee, find one-legged mountain pose. And then extend your right leg long. And then we're going to find airplane pose, so pendulum your right foot back. Slowly make your way into airplane pose. Your shoulder blades are squeezed together, pinkies squeezed together, right toes flex towards your mat. And whenever you're done with airplane pose, we'll meet in standing splits. Standing splits, bring your fingers to your mat. Keep your hips in line with one another. Keep flexing your right toes towards your, uh, towards your mat. One more inhale and exhale, low lunge. Land your back foot behind you. Drop to your back knee and then splits on this side. So you're gonna have one side probably more flexible than the other. Um, just tends to be that way, especially for splits. Um, so whatever works, however you wanna get into this side, it might be a little bit different than the other side, but I recommend just Inching your front foot forward, and then maybe your back foot back. Don't hurt yourself. Stay up as high as you need. You can also just take half splits um, or move through low crescent to half splits and just flow there. Take a couple more breaths here. And then when you're done, we'll meet in downward facing dog again. So come out of split however you want to. And find out dog. Inhale, lift your right heel high. Exhale, half pigeon pose. Bring your right knee behind your right wrist. Untuck your back toes. Take a moment to stay lifted and then find sleeping half pigeon.
And then since we've warmed up our hip flexors a lot um, earlier in class, option for a little quad stretch here. So if you want, come up, bend your back leg, and then reach with your left hand for your left foot. Nice. Everyone's like, I don't want to get out of half pigeon pose. <laughs> and if you want, you can just keep pulling your left foot a little bit closer to your torso to deepen that uh, quad stretch. And release your back leg. Make your way back to down dog. And inhale, left heel high. Exhale, half pigeon pose. Untuck your back toes and find sleeping half pigeon. And then if you want to do the quad stretch on this side, bring your chest back upright and bend your right knee. Reach back with your right hand for your right foot. And then gently pull your right foot closer to your right shoulder. And release your right leg. Shift off onto one side and then spin your feet around in front of you and come onto your back. We'll take bridge pose. So bring the soles of your feet to your mat, feet about hip width distance apart. And then let rest your arms by your sides, inhale your hips up for bridge pose. If you want, you can take a bind, interlacing your hands behind your back, and then coming up a little bit further on, onto your shoulders to lift your hips a little bit higher. One more round of breath. And release your bind, let your spine come back to your mat. Find fallen bridge, um, bring your feet mat width distance apart and then knock your knees together. And set up for another round of bridge pose. Feet back to your mat. Inhale, lift your hips up. One more round of breath here. And exhale, release. Bring your knees into your chest. And gently massage out your back, especially your low back. And then we're going to shift up onto our seat for just a simple forward fold. Inhale, hands high. 
Exhale, seated forward fold. Reach for um, your feet, your ankles, your legs, whatever's accessible. And lift your torso up, come back onto your back. Find happy baby pose. Reach up and grab for the insides or outsides of your feet. And then use your arms to pull your knees to look closer to your mat. Try to press the entire length of your spine into your mat. From your neck to your tailbone. An option to rock side to side or maybe straighten one leg than the other. Bring your knees into your chest. And let's take figure four supine twist. So plant your left foot on your mat, cross your right knee on top. Extend your arms to a T and then let your knees fall to the left. Gaze goes to the right. Inhale, come back to center, switch out your legs. Plant your right foot on your mat, cross your left knee on top. I guess this is more, this is more eagle legs than figure four, sorry. And then let your knees fall to the right. Gaze goes to the left. Inhale, come back to center. Bring both knees into your chest. Give them a final squeeze. And then find Shavasana, corpse pose. Extend your arms and legs long. Let your feet fall open. Move your shoulders a little bit further under your back. And we'll just be here for a little bit. And you're welcome to stay in Shavasana, but if you're ready to move on, begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Begin to deepen your breath. And over the next four or five breaths, make your way to a comfortable seated position. And sit up nice and tall. Bring your hands together at heart center. Take a deep inhale through your nose. 
and side out. Bring your hands to third eye center of the space between your eyebrows and bow forward, namaste. Thank you, guys.